Hello, my name is Tracy Mentor. I'm also known as on my Facebook page as Me BT Mentor Food. So, how's everybody doing today? Great, fantastic. I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I love Him very much. If it wasn't for Him, there there is no me. I am nothing, and I mean nothing without Him. So, I love Him very much. Also, I am a survivor of narcissistic abuse. Um, I had no idea what a narcissist was, let alone, no, let alone that I was the victim of this thing, you know, that um, that exists on this earth. It's just kind of hard to believe that there's actually people that are just so evil and so bent on making your life a living hell. And my narcissist did just that. They made my life a living hell. And I mean, I had no clue that here I am trusting this person, loving on this person, and believing this person, and just very close to this person, and I'm having no idea that this person is just like literally destroying my life. Um, I suffered so many homelessness, and it's, it's, I was homeless so many times, it's not even funny. I should have wrote a song about being homeless. That's how home, that's how much I was homeless. I probably could have been a millionaire by now, many times. If they had a contest who's been homeless the longest, I would win that contest hands down. Because <laughs> that narcissist um, that I was dealing with, I mean, everything from homelessness to just not having nothing. And that's how my life was for a great deal of my life. But thank the Lord Jesus Christ that he saved me. And the moment he saved me from that, he started revealing to me the different things that you know was th that was not good for me and that's the power of the lord jesus christ and that's the power of being saved and you know because god once he he saves you he will start letting you know who's around you and who's really not meaning you any good and he will provide a way out for you you know he says that in his word you know no temptation can befall you that will take you and so you will not be tempted anymore to deal with this narcissist after you've dealt with them and they have done you dog and done you wrong and and you trusted them and you believe them so the moment you know god started just showing me just a whole bunch of stuff you know that i was just like in shock and it just so happened to be like the time I was homeless. <laughs> I was homeless and then and I was sitting in the parking lot in my car with my two children. Well, actually I had just dropped my daughter off at work. And then me and my son was sitting there in the Walmart parking lot because we had no place to go. That was our you know home, sitting in a car in the Walmart parking lot. And I happened to be watching some YouTube videos and that the watching them it was just like this narcissist video came up and it was like the holy spirit was nudging me to look at this video you know look at this video this is the one i want you to look at start looking at and so here i am in the walmart parking lot looking at this narcissist video and i mean the video wooed me and wowed me over i was just like in shock world and I just couldn't believe that everything that this narcissist video was showing me was what I had went through and what I was still, you know, the the stench of it was still on me, you know, and I just was like in total shock. I just could not believe how evil these things are. These things are so evil where they're they're their evil looks good and that's the deception of anything that's evil they cannot come to you showing you that i'm evil i'm here to destroy you i'm here to just take your life away i'm here to just make your life a living hell they're never going to come to you saying it like that but eventually that's the result of it and you're not knowing this because you're this empathic emp empath you know and you're just like you know totally opposite of evil <laughs> and so you don't know that the smile and the grins is is really them hating you it's really them wanting to just shoot you dead if they could pull out a gun and shoot and kill you <laughs> they would you know and you're not knowing this because again you're this nice kind caring loving type of personality and you just can't fathom that people are so evil you know especially uh people just you know 
acting like they care about you. And my narcissist used to always say to me, I'm your friend. I got your back. I'm your friend. I got your back. You know, so it was always this, you know, this narcissist was building up like this trust. Like you could trust me. You can trust me. And I was falling victim to that, you know, when well, this person, you know, said that I'm her friend and I'm this, you know, I'm just so naive to this evil because it's like, if you haven't been exposed to evil, then you don't know anything about it. You know, you don't know anything about it. And I wasn't exposed to evil like this. You know, this is new, you know, to me. I had no mother. I had, you know, nobody really or aunties telling me this world is evil or grandmother telling me this world is evil. People are evil. I had nobody in my life telling me this, you know, nobody, no uh, adult figure in my life that was telling me the world is evil. People will hate you. They'll be jealous of you. They'll be envious of you. They will not like you. They will sabotage you. They will lie on you. They will dog you out. They will do all of this stuff. They'll make try to make you think you're crazy and all this type of stuff. And I had no clue that these type of people existed. I thought everybody was like me, nice, kind, and stuff like this, you know. But um, my narcissist happened to be my stepmother, you know. And I, again, like I said, I didn't have a mother. You know, my mother, she just... My mother died in a mental institution because she was going through so many emotional problems because her life consisted of her dad having sex with her and when starting at like six years old until she was like 12 years old, he was having sex with him, my, my mother and her sister. And so my mom, you know, was all messed up with that, you know, because by the time she left her household she married my dad and then she had five children and then you know it, so it was just like she really never had a chance to heal herself you know so she was kept being bombarded with life and life 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 and so she couldn't deal with it and so um she died in a mental institution at the age of 45 years old so again i had nobody i had no woman figure no adult figure telling me that the world is evil don't trust people don't this don't that you know and so my stepmom i met her when i was like nine years old and actually i'm writing a book so i don't want to tell you guys the whole thing but i'm writing a book and uh, the book should be I'm, i started writing it so I don't know when it'll be coming out but I am writing a book so um, but anyway I met her when I was really young and you know and I at this time I'm at an impressionable age and I really want to connect with a woman you know and I really want to you know be this best daughter that I can be because my mother wasn't there you know so I want to be the best daughter and so immediately I started trusting this lady because she pretended like she was so nice and kind and caring and she was just good to me but then again like i said evil make when a person is evil they make good things look they make evil look good you know what i'm saying so you think oh this person is so caring they're loving they're this they're that you know but all the while they're just like putting you up high up on this pedestal you know and that's what the narcissist will do they will put you high up on a pedestal and at the same time, you know, you're sitting high up on this pedestal because they good. They just love bombing you with good gifts and and teaching you this and and taking you here and doing this and doing that for you. And um, at the time, my stepmother got me. My hair wasn't growing because my mom wasn't taking care of it. So my stepmom got my hair to growing. My hair was long to my shoulders, and so she was really. She really stepped up and, and acted like a mother, you know. So I'm thinking, oh, this woman cared for me. She would buy me clothes. We would go out to eat. And she would teach me how to eat with different silverware. And, you know, just a lot of etiquette and stuff like that. And so I'm thinking, oh, this lady really cared for me. And, man, people are very deceptive you know evil people are very deceptive they will lie they will con they will cheat they will do anything to make you think that they really care for you and so that's a, a narcissist so and it's so sad because you cannot trust a smile and a grin and a you know i got your back you know somebody is telling you they got your back don't believe them they're lying they are lying to you when somebody says, I'm your friend, you know, I got your back. When 
when people say those words to you, it's just a lie. Because if you are a good friend, you never got to say, I'm your friend. You know, if you really think about that, if you really are a friend to somebody, why do you have to tell me I'm your friend? You know, when you're there for me, we're, you know, there for each other. We're just supporting each other in every type of way. Nobody has to open their mouth and say we're friends because the friendship is thriving and surviving in the union that you guys have together, that you guys are having together. You know, that union is there and it's strong. So the signs that you're around a narcissist, they will talk about you. They will gossip about people, anybody. It doesn't matter. They're going to gossip about people. Also, they're going to be fake in your face and they're going to tell you they're your friend. They got your back. And also, if they're talking about other people, believe me, when you're not there, they're talking about you. Okay. And they're trashing you down to the ground. And, um, knowing my stepmother, God rest her soul, she's no longer here, but knowing her, was like the introduction to me into that narcissistic world. And the thing about it, if you've been exposed to one, then most likely everybody around you is a narcissist until you find out about these people. You have that smell that keeps attracting these sick people. You know, so if you're around a narcissist, that narcissist is inside of you, if you think about it. Are you evil like the narcissist? No, you're not. But that smell of a narcissist, because you've been around it, is inside of you now. So if it's inside of you, that means you're still attracting those type of personalities. And it's just a sick type of personality where they, they don't have a soul. They don't care about people. They're heartless. They just put their mouth on anybody. And see, in God's word, he tells us to not put our mouth on people. God says that. Do not just open up your mouth and foolishly just say whatever you want to say about people. He tells us not to do that because we're cursing that person and we're throwing seeds of hate and, and, and envy and all this on this person and we're like tying them up at the same time we're tying 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 ourselves up as well so god tell us not to do that so if you're around that narcissist spirit and they're talking about people you're around a dark demented sick spirit that just hate people you know they hate people they don't like people at all not even themselves because if they love themselves they will start getting some help and saying they will say you know what i need help i'm sick you know something's wrong with me because after a while you have to see that everybody doesn't have a problem is and that problem might be you you know, but the narcissist will never, ever think that they have a problem. They're going to constantly blame everybody and they're going to constantly um, make everybody else out to be the problem and not them. So they don't take responsibility. They gossip about you and they sit in your face and lie and say that they're your friend and that they got your back. You know, don't worry. I got you. I got you. I got you. Maybe you're putting out your money, you know, every time y'all go somewhere, you're paying for everything. And then they say, don't worry. I got you. I got you. And then when they get their money... Even though you're not doing it because you want something back, you're not treating them to dinner or treating them to coffee because you want something back. It's just your personality. But they're looking at you like, oh, you want something from me because they constantly have a mind where it's always like, I got to protect myself. I got to take care of myself. I ain't thinking about you. You don't want to put on your money. That's your problem. They don't think normally like normal people they're always thinking like i gotta get one up on you i gotta get i gotta get mine i gotta get mine i gotta get mine and i'm gonna take care of me you know you being foolish putting your money out that's you that's how their mind think but you're just being you but they want to take your kindness for a weakness my kindness is not to be is not a weakness it's who i am you know and it's a beautiful thing of who i am but they're so demented in their thinking, they don't see straight like how you see things. They're not seeing it how like how you're seeing it, not how you see things. They don't think that way. They're always um, thinking of themselves. So they're very self-centered people as well. But um, after her, she kind of like opened the door. That was like the doorway for me to meet more narcissists because everybody that was around me, my ex-husband, even my sister, 
was like and my stepbrother were narcissists you know and narcissists when they're dealing with you they have a motive they are not around your empathic self for no reason they have a motive and their motive normally isn't good is to use you in some kind of way is to use you as merchandise is to take advantage of you is to make you their puppet is to take advantage is to you know um, take away your good gifts and put them in them and then drain you of all of who you are and then make it like you don't have nothing and you're you know you just dumb and stupid and you don't have anything and you're copying me they'll try to make it like you're copying them you're copying me you know and you know this is what you've been doing for a long time but they'll try to make it you're copying me and then diane i ain't copying you you copying me so they are copycats they're false and they're demented and they will gossip about you these people but i can say and i can honestly say that i thank god for my stepmother <laughs> i really do because if it wouldn't if it hadn't been for her i would have been still naive and thinking that people were like me and people aren't like me at the same time on the other hand how i am and how god created me to be is a good thing you know i am good i am all right i am smart i am somebody i am valuable i am enough and i am smart you know and so if someone is trying to make you out to be this dumb stupid like you don't have a purpose you don't exist yes you do you have all of that and more and they see it and they don't like it and they're jealous of you <laughs> and so that's the whole thing of the narcissist is to make you doubt who god has made you to be god says we are fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well you know and god also says that he has a great plan for us plans not to harm us but to give us hope and a future we can rest in our goodness and we don't have to feel that we're not enough we're not worthy we're not smart enough we're not anything we can rest in the goodness and how the lord has made us i thank you lord for everything i love you lord for coming along and making me feel special and that i am somebody and you too if you're listening to this video you are somebody you are enough and god has blessed you beyond so put your head up and thank the lord that he did expose you expose you to such evil at such a time as this okay god bless you guys um if you like this video like and subscribe to my channel Please, I mix, you know, the narcissist, but I am a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. God is first, you know, and the trials and tribulations of what I've gone through from dealing with a narcissist is second. But God is first. I love him very much because without him, there is no me. So I thank you guys for listening to my video. Like I say, God bless you guys and be blessed.